Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Glory to God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not all his benefits. He forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases. Glory to God. I do greet you in the strong name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for allowing us to meet in this forum today, uh, which is called Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Amen. And how much do we yet need to learn from Him and hear from Him, receive from Him, be blessed by Him? Glory to God. I thank Him. And I'm just humbled that He allows His opportunity for us to gather in his word that we may learn amen and uh, learning uh, thereby being empowered to uh, live effectively and more effectively and more effectively amen that is what we are hoping for amen this uh, progression this improvement um, uh, this refining that happens among the saints over time I bless and praise God for all of you who are blessed to join us today. Um, please, if you have an opportunity, share with somebody else. Uh, this might be a source of encouragement or direction for them. Amen. I thank and praise God for all who are blessed to join in this uh, forum today. Maybe go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I do thank you, Lord. I thank you so much for this blessed day. Thank you for all you've provided, Lord, all you have provided that, that causes our lives to be rich, Lord, really rich indeed. I thank you, Lord, for giving us a spiritual insight and spiritual foresight uh, so that uh, no matter what uh, may come from day to day, uh, which may be influenced by the enemy of our souls, we thank you for giving us the capacity to see beyond all of that, Lord, and to know what our destiny is in you. Oh, God, bless this time of sharing. I pray that you encourage hearts today. Lord, I just pray that we will leave this time uh, together. We will leave this time richer than we uh, started it today. Pray for those who are going through any uh, kind of trouble, Lord, uh, in their families, whether it be sickness or death or, or other challenges, Lord, uh, those who may be experiencing things just on the personal level that nobody else may even know about. Oh, God, just show yourself strong today. In the name of Jesus, speak peace into their spirits, Lord, and remind them that they belong to you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you today. Amen. Glory to God. Good to just be with everybody. Good to be with everybody. Amen. Um, so I do thank you for joining us. And I thank those who do encourage others to uh, come in, to share. Those who do whatever uh, this um, format allows to, uh, to like or to affirm what the Lord is doing through this uh, vehicle. I bless and praise God for it. Bless the Lord. Amen. Well, we started last week um, uh, with a little lesson in the fourth chapter of the book of Philippians. And it is such a full chapter uh, that we're just going to spend a few lessons um, uh, gleaning what we can out of that chapter. Amen. Uh, I'm going to spend a few lessons just cleaning what we can uh, in the name of Jesus. Last week we began with uh, uh, verses 6 through 8 of the fourth chapter of Philippians. And um, this, this uh, is, I believe, the fourth of Paul's prison epistles. Uh, this is called his joyful letter. He didn't have, amen, uh, lots of negative issues to 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 kind of verbally chastise the church at Philippi about he he encouraged um, uh, 
couple of women who had some sort of disagreement that they should um, be endeavoring to get along. But this is his joy letter. This is a deep letter full of feelings about Paul and his love for the Philippian church and the Philippian people and his appreciation for them. Amen. Last week, well, in verses 6 through 8, we just, we just talked about um, our need to calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. And uh, allow the Lord to do what he's going to do once we get uh, our feelings and extreme emotions and all of that uh, out of the way. Amen. Just calm down. Today we move on to a verse that I used very recently um, at a homegoing service as a text. Um, Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Amen. And uh, the little subject for today is followers of Christ hyphen demonstrated. Followers of Christ. Put a hyphen in between it demonstrated followers of Christ demonstrated amen followers of Christ uh, demonstrated if you want to say illustrated or, or fleshed out or made alive followers of Christ demonstrated this is from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 9 I read them uh, read that verse from the um, King James and from the Amplified Version. Amen. Amen. Followers of Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, hyphen. Demonstrated. Followers of Christ. Demonstrated. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. And that verse reads in the King James Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you. Again, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. The Amplified reads, Practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it. The God of peace untroubled undisturbed well-being. The God of peace will be with you. Glory to God. What a powerful verse. What a powerful verse. And what a uh, uh, a dare, so to speak, the Apostle Paul is putting out there. Amen. Well, a little bit of, um, of, of, of research into Paul's background causes us to know that um, uh, Paul, uh, really the Lord saved him and brought him such a long way from being a persecutor of the church um, as a matter of fact, when he was uh, he, when he was converted, he was on his way to persecute Christians, to imprison Christians. But thanks be unto God, I had another plan. Amen. And what I love about God, uh, about the way God did with Paul and with many of us, is that that God puts the passion in us. It's just that when we get saved, He gives us. He causes us to learn our real purpose. Lots of folk have passion, but the passion is misguided. So they're passionate about doing things that, that God isn't pushing, God isn't condoning, God is not part of, um, but they're passionate about it. But once we get saved, when we have a heart for God, glory to God, and as we cultivate that relationship, he, he takes the same passion, amen, and, and, and weds it with the purpose he had for us uh, from the beginning of all time. Amen? Amen. Well, 
uh, I think as we talk about this, followers of, followers of Christ demonstrated, we need to um, uh, just acknowledge the reality that um, that nobody does this Christian walk flawlessly from conversion to death. Nobody does this Christian walk flawlessly from conversion to death. Nobody. So, um, those who may tend to be very judgmental, very condemning, um, um, that's really not how the Lord um, would have us walk um, consistently. There are times when we do have to I guess hold one another's feet to the fire, but um, the, the the nobody from the time we get saved to the time we die, nobody does this walk flawlessly. Amen. Amen. We just got to face that reality, accept that, and if we can, I, it'll help us. Uh, if we can deal with our own flawed situation, that will help us to be more tolerant, more forgiving, more encouraging of other folk. Amen. Amen. Many times if you uh, chase that rabbit of people who are always condemning and always naming everybody else's sin, there's something unresolved in them. Glory to God. Amen. So, But nobody... Uh, does this Christian walk flawlessly from conversion to death. Still, still, in light of that and in spite of that, we are to take on the responsibility of modeling Christ. From the time we are saved, we are to learn and to live and to execute things in ways more and more as the one whom we follow. Amen. That's really important. So uh, those who would say getting saved is a private affair. And nobody has anything to do it, do with it. And I don't have anything to do with anybody else. That's really not so. Uh, if we are the salt of the light of the world and the, and the light of the world, if we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. If we are the salt of the earth in the light of the world, then how do we um, impact, how do we impact the culture around us if we have nothing to do with people or people have nothing to do with us or we aren't responsible for um, modeling uh, Christ before people. Amen. We must take on the responsibility of modeling Christ. Amen. That means once we are saved, we cannot intentionally, willfully, with the same passion and the same intensity, continue to do the wrong things. Amen. Because we now belong to Christ. Amen. What what this word, what this verse is saying that in that modeling process, in that uh, process of demonstration, we are followers of Christ. Demonstrated. Amen. That we have to move beyond simply being introduced to the ways of Christ. Amen. We got to move beyond just saying, oh, that's that's what he did. Or, oh, that's how he responded. Or, oh, that's how he felt about that. No, 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 no. We got to move beyond that. We got to do more than the King James says. Those things you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. Four things. Learned, received, heard, and seen. Learned, received, heard, and seen. The um, Amplified says practice what you've learned and received and heard and seen. Practice it. Practice it. 
How do we get more efficient and proficient at anything? Practice it. If it's the keyboard, you got to practice it. If it's a musical instrument, you got to practice it. If it's a sport, you got to practice it. If it's chess, you got to practice it. Whatever it is, you got to practice it. You got to rehearse it. You got to rehearse it. So that we don't rehearse for the purpose of perfecting a show. No, 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 no. We rehearse for the purpose of getting the word of God ingrained in us. So that if I don't have quick access to a book. Amen. So that if I can't quickly pick up my Bible. Amen. I can say at least some of what is in here. And in addition to that. People can see what's in here. In us. And in our relating. Now, some argue that doing things the, the Christian way, uh, doing things as followers of Christ, may cause us to appear weak. All I can say is nothing could be farther from the truth. Amen. Now, just um, in the course of living and dealing with people, amen, uh, you run into people who may provoke you, and, and you want to uh, come at them, the way they came at you. You want to you want to get them back. We want to you want to hurt them like they hurt you. You want to say something that inflicts the same kind of injury their words inflicted upon you. No, 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 no. No. Meekness is not weakness. So we are we're rehearsing not to perform, not so we can out tell off somebody or we can out manipulate them or, 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 or in some kind of way we practice what we've learned so that we can be built up in living it and doing it and being what the word says this is really important this is real this is a rubber meets the road kind of lesson we've got to learn how to do more than we got to do more than just learn it and receive it we got to do more than that we got to do more than hearing it and seeing it we got to do more we become that word we become an embodiment of that word amen that's really important I know in this day and time, that's probably something that many folk do not want to hear. We want a convenient kind of religion. We can just, if we go into a church house, we just go there. Or if we're not even open back up, we can just go by, drop off our support, and then go on and do things the way we want. No, 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 no. Paul says the things you have heard and received, the things you have Learned, received, heard, and seen. Learned, received, heard, and seen. Everything you've learned, received, heard, and seen, Paul gives one, a one-word directive, a one-word command. Paul says, everything. Here is the, the, the sum total of all the text for this course called life. Everything that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, Paul said, do. Just do it. So Paul wasn't being cocky. I don't take it that way. Paul wasn't being arrogant. Paul was saying two major things. He was saying um, uh, um, Christians ought to expect to learn better and then to practice what we learn. We ought expect. No, no, between now and the grave, we aren't going to do it all flawlessly. But we ought to be getting better. We ought to be improving. Amen? We ought to be improving all the time. 
all the time. We got to do more than the study and, and to, to, oh, that's what he said, and that sounds not, no, no, you got to learn it, learn it, get it within you so that if you awaken in the middle of the night, you can say that thing. You receive it in your spirit, amen. You hear it with your ears that it might hit you, get in your spirit. And then the things you've seen. Amen. The things you've seen. How you see how you've seen me interact with people. How you've seen my passion for the poor. How I was able to reason with non Christians. Even have my life, my, my physical welfare in jeopardy sometimes. Paul's encouraging them, you got to do it. You got to, all of this gets beyond the theoretical, it gets beyond the philosophical, and it gets to the practical, the hands on. What does this look like when we are living it out? What does this look like when we are living it out? That's exactly right, sis. Got it every day. Looking to get it better. Looking to get stronger. For suffer a setback, Lord, forgive me. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, I fall up my head for a moment. Lord, here's my heart. You know my heart. My heart belongs to you. And then one passionately. That's your passion. And all the craziness that was done by the unsaved when they were unsaved did it passionately. Whatever those things are, I wouldn't try to enumerate them. I don't know them all. Don't remember all. Don't remember all of mine. But we pursued them passionately. Is that same passion that fuels our purpose in Christ Jesus. And sometimes the things we have learned and, 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 and received and heard and seen... When we start doing these things, they seem little, they seem insignificant, they seem um, unappreciated, they seem like they don't make any difference, uh, nobody notices. That is not our area. That's, we, we, who, who notices is not our business. Who responds or affirms is not our business. We do it because we have learned it. We've heard it. We received it. We've seen it modeled, and now we do it. Because, so, so we got to take that step. And the second part of we do it so that another generation of learners and receivers and hearers and seers can learn from us. We do it to replicate. We do it to reproduce. We do it so we can make some more folk who believe like we believe. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to model it. You got to model it. You got to model it. Now we got to know that doing the Christian thing looks good on Christians. Recalling the things we've learned, the things we've received, the things we've heard, the things we've seen, and then putting them into practice looks good on Christians. You cannot use the world's uh, value system to appreciate living out Christian life. Amen. The world will tell you all kinds, you're crazy for doing that. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I just would. I'm not doing it. I don't have time for that. I got, I got my own life to live, my own stuff to do. I'm just, no, 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 no. The Holy Spirit leads you, invites you, provokes you. Then he is expecting you to go model that thing. Even when it seems like nobody's noticing, somebody's noticing. Even when it seems like nobody's listening, somebody's listening. Even when it seems that people are unreceptive to 
to what you are modeling as a Christian. Somebody's receiving. And even when you've done the, the right thing, the godly thing, the Christian thing, several, several times, sometimes it seems like folk just turn their learning button off. That, that's all right. Keep doing it. Somebody's learning. Everybody, everybody doesn't learn equally fast. Some aspects of Christian living are more quickly grasped by some than by others. But we are to just do, here, here's the instruction. As followers of Christ, we are to demonstrate those things we have learned and received and heard and seen. We are to demonstrate them. We are to do them. We don't do it as an empty exercise. We don't do it to be noticed by anybody. We do it because that's what we are instructed to do. And as Christians, that's what we love to do. That's part of getting this word out. That's part of winning souls. Glory to God. That's part of increasing the population of heaven and decreasing the population of hell. Just do it. Just demonstrate it. Doesn't matter who say what. Doesn't matter who says, oh, you think you're this, you're that. Doesn't matter. Just demonstrate it. Plant those seeds. Glory to God. <laughs> our mom used to tell us, well, in our family, the five of us sons were born before the two daughters. And, uh, Mom used to tell us boys, Mom was, used to tell us, you all can go out there and act crazy and get in trouble if you want. But you, but you never will tell anybody you weren't taught that. Amen. And I tell you, I'm sure that everybody listening in right now can, can remember whether we obeyed it or not, somebody spoke that truth. And 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 when we didn't obey some measure of conviction came um, uh, even some measure of self-condemnation but that truth was that if, if nobody had ever modeled it if nobody had ever taught it if we never had an opportunity to learn it if we had not had a chance to hear it or to see it then on what would we base our action Glory to God. But thank God for those saints. Those older saints, many of them, weren't so lettered. They they might have not been super educated. And there were some who were educated didn't know, know much about the word. But I'll tell you what. For the, for the most part, what they knew they modeled, they taught, they demonstrated. And that's why much of what is in us is in us. Thanks be unto God. We are to model it. And we can't make people learn. It's a sad commentary. As I said at the home going the other day. Why do we think God places these wonderful people in our lives? Loving people, forgiving people, uh, cheerful people, inspiring people, motivational people. Why? He, he, he places them in our lives not just to spoil us. He places them in our lives so we can learn those things from them and pass them on to somebody else. you got to demonstrate it. Many of you are giving people right now, and you are giving because somebody modeled giving for you. You may not have much, and always about how big your gift is. It's just that your heart says give. And when people give mechanically, you can tell when it's not sincere because they can turn that faucet off at any time. They can get an attitude, turn the faucet off. That means the giving was tainted from the beginning. We 
But if you fix a meal somebody likes or needs, just get that meal to them. It, it's no big deal. Or whatever it may be. Folk modeled. Folk who really didn't many times have much at all. But they learned and they received and they heard and they saw and they demonstrated. Lord, may we do the same. Lord, may we do the same. Lord, may we do the same. Every saint, if nothing else, every saint, each and every, all of us saints, ought to be so forgiving. If you don't reach into any other category too strongly, forgiveness ought to be so plentiful among the saints. Not because we are so nice, we're so strong, we're so... No. But because Christ modeled that for us. He modeled it. God modeled it through the gift of His Son. Forgiving. That's why you can't you can't convince me that that somebody really loves the Lord and they can just hold on to stuff decades, year after year and stay mm -mm. not a really forgiven person because a forgiven person has to be a forgiving person well Saints, we are called to be followers of Christ and we are called to demonstrate that. Hence our subject today, followers of Christ demonstrated. Hallelujah. Let's flesh it on out. Make these disciples. Jesus is soon to come. And we don't want him to catch us with our work undone. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this day, God. I thank you for this word. Thank you for this lesson, God. It's rich. It is rich. It is rich indeed, God. Oh, God, we thank you for those people you uh, purpose to be in our lives to model godly things for us, Lord. Um, we thank you, Lord. Our lives are richer because you sent those models before us, and they demonstrated those things that they had learned and received and heard and seen. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, forgive us uh, for those points, those lapses when uh, we didn't demonstrate things well. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we dropped the ball. Uh, please forgive us for all of us who have not asked forgiveness. We ask it now. Forgive us and wash us and cleanse us. Uh, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now, Lord, that we may be empowered to demonstrate those things that we have learned from your word, those things that have been taught to us by the examples of other saints, those things, Lord, that have been modeled before us. Lord, strengthen us that we may demonstrate those things. Those Things, that we may model those things, God. That we may create generation after generation of new believers, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for the Holy Spirit himself who guides us in all truth. I pray, Lord, uh, for those who among us who may be using the word sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak your healing into their lives, into their minds, God, into their spirits, Lord, into their souls, God, and into their bodies, God. Those who are, are distressed, financially distressed, I speak, Lord, God, that you are God of more than enough. You are our provider. And God, you will make ways where there don't appear to be any ways. God, I pray for those who are, are bereaved today. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that for when saints expire, we do not grieve as those who have no hope. We do grieve, but we do not grieve as those who have no hope. 
because we know we have the blessed hope of seeing them when we see Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. I pray for the elderly among us, Lord, that you just strengthen them, God, as you provide for them. I pray for the children, the little children, Lord, who depend on somebody else to do for them, God. Oh, God, be exalted, be exalted. Oh, God, be exalted. Yes, Lord. We lift you, we lift your banner before us, God. We know that the enemy has to scatter, God. In the name of Jesus. We know sometimes when we take authority, the enemy will try to come back even in a more ferocious fashion to make us doubt what you've said. But God, in the name of Jesus, we stand on the authority of your word, the truth of your word, the reality of your word, and the power of the Holy Ghost. Bless all who are in this forum today. Lord, cause us to reach out and bless somebody else as the sun uh, goes toward the setting in a few hours. Help us, Lord, through the rest of this day uh, to just intentionally um, demonstrate um, the love of Jesus, demonstrate the things we have heard and, and learned and, and seen, Lord, and uh, received in the name of Jesus. Bless us only you can. We give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. Forgive us again, we ask you, of any infractions, Lord. Any things we took in our hands that we should have left in your hand. Oh God, forgive us today, Lord. Thank you for a chance to get it right. In Jesus' strong name, amen. God be with you till we meet again. In Jesus' name, I love every last one of you. Be blessed.